So here's what early Christians were up against. The entire social, industrial, religious structure of Thyatira was built around the guilds. Now, a guild was like a labor union. Uh, every single craft had its own guild. The textile people had a guild, the bronze smiths, the silversmiths. They all belonged to their own guild. Now, it just wasn't like a labor union. It was more than that. That was the heart of their social function, their religious function, as well as their work. And Thyatira was a closed shop town. Periodically, the guilds would uh, hold great festivals for all the members of their guild. The problem for Christians was that these festivals were held in the temple to Apollo, who was the patron of the guilds, as he was the patron to the military garrison that was here, Apollo, who was called the Son of God. So these grand guild festivities were held there. They would worship Apollo. They would eat and fellowship and often involved themselves in sexual immorality. So what's a Christian to do? Well, if you said, I'm not going, you risked the success of the guild because maybe Apollo would be angry with your particular kind of craft or function. So needless to say, the guild only had one option, and that was to expel you. <laughs> you lost your job. You know, in Pergamum, Christians faced the tremendous pressure of not worshiping in the temples and not worshiping the emperor, and perhaps for that would lose their lives. In Thyatira, they lost their jobs. It hit them where it hurts the most, right in the pocketbook. <laughs>